This video is all about me fitting an 8.6 inch screen to the rear of my Tesla Model 3. What could go wrong? So here we go, delivered by FedEx. So, uh, be interesting to see what the crack is there. Ooh, that looks pretty. Rear multifunction entertainment display V8.66 Ultra. Uh, warranty and support, uh, let's hope we don't need that. And oh, it's nicely packaged. And I checked out the brand before I decided to um, uh, go with them in terms of uh, uh, doing a review on their products because I think it's really important not just to go with any old brand and I've had a couple of companies come to me before uh, and if anyone's seen my videos they'll know that I've been wanting a rear screen for a while and I know my girls are exceptionally excited about it very very important oh it looks like we've got two types of wiring here now I'm pretty sure that I think one's gonna be with the new style and one's gonna be the old style. I don't think I'm gonna to have to fit both of those, but we'll read through the instructions and find out. This does seem to be quite a big screen. I'm not sure how big the new Tesla Model 3 Highland screen is. It'd be, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. Very nice. Yeah, so we've got the USB-Cs there, because it's at the moment it's got US, uh, the older style, hence probably why it comes with the adapter. Good news is, it's in my favourite language, Chinese. Well, I'm not going to open those, so we'll have a look at the instructions. Oh, look at it out there. Okay, where are the instructions? Because they're not here. Oh, look, QR code. Yay, let's get cracking. Let's check out the video, and I'll let you know how I get on. So... I watched the video, uh, the QR code didn't work, so I had to search for it uh, basically manually on YouTube. It looks to be that these harnesses, one says, here we go, it says it's for two, well, it says 19 to 22, so I would guess that that is my shape, and then this one says 23 plus. We'll put, leave that back in the box, this is the version we need. Um, I've watched the video, and the video looks pretty simple, to be honest, um, but I'm sure I'll uh, have some fun. And uh, it said that use the lead tool, which is to, to uh, attach the wiring to the lead, to pull it through in certain places to get it to the seat. But I don't see any lead tool, so we have to make do and uh, not bodge something, but find something. But let's get out into the car. Stop raining, so sun's out. Perfect timing. Let's go. So it only came with this uh, tool, uh, which is going to pry the... Um, uh, the trim essentially. Uh, in the video it said that I need electrical tape, 20 star screwdriver which I've got, uh, some cable ties, I've got two different lengths. Now it said that there was a cable tool to pull the cable through all the nooks and crannies. I couldn't find, there was nothing in the box so I'm going to probably make do and do uh, make something with the cable ties but um, I'll show you what I mean on the video and pop it up but let's get cracking. Right here we go so what do we need to do again? Oh yeah one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the car because I think that's a safer thing to do because we're playing around with the electronics for goodness sake. Right, let's take all this shenanigans off. Get this stuff. That was the protection that came with the car. So using this end, stick it in these places and ah oh, look at that, that's piece piece of piss, isn't it? He said. Ah. Get on this side, maybe. Ah, oh, look at that! Easy, easy peasy. And he kind of, they, well, her, she turned it over. There's a little thing there that unplugs. Remember the car's off, so it should be all good. Uh, there we go. There's one off. That is it. Yeah. Well. So the next bit is prying this bit here, it shouldn't be too difficult because we've got it off before, there we go, one bit, it's quite difficult one handed filming for you lovely lot, there we go, and that reveals the blue 
thing that needs unplugging so let's do that now actually let's not do that now because i think i've actually got to unscrew these t20s first so let's do that normally i'd be way too scared of doing this sort of stuff but when you've got a video showing you how to do it i mean it's it's you know it's not so bad i suppose it depends on how handy you are i'm not handy at all so if i can do this anyone can do this i assure you that's the two screws we'll leave those here so we don't lose them so this should therefore just pull off huh. oh another bit <laughs> so the next bit is get your wiring ready these are the two white plugs that go between the blue ones so that is the next step so let's get cracking with that Okay, they're now unplugged. So one goes into the one side, one goes in the other, female and male. Clicked in, nice. And that one doesn't go anywhere. So this one just plugs in like so. So what's next? Now what I'm gonna do is attach some of these cable ties together um, because I haven't got well, it said that it came with it, but I didn't see it come with it. But I think this this should do it. This should do the job in terms of being able to pull the wires through. Because they're pretty robust. And they should work pretty well. The end of the cable tie, I put the seat far forward. I've done that already, but I needed to put it up. But basically, I'm getting the cable tie tip, put it in the gutter. I'll call it gutter because um, you need to bring it underneath here it is you need to bring it underneath and there's the other end and hopefully this system yeah will work yes okay so after finding out uh which wire to go through so it's the the really thin kind of phono wire is attached to these two clips and these two clips need to go to the uh electric seats um but what we need to do is we need to attach it to our makeshift cable puller thrower with some electrical tape or whatever tape I guess and then we should be good to go once this has been pulled through to where we need to get it pulled through to so there we go so that's stuck to the cable tie which is my makeshift cable thing and we're gonna pull it through theoretically yeah we go pulled it straight through beautiful so do that wire a bit tighter. So we've got plenty of cable. So that's it, there we go. That's one end through. Now I need to get it through the next bit. Here it is. Hello. There we go. So I just need to get this panel off with the uh, pliers and then get these plugs connected. This plug is quite tricky to get out. I think I'm gonna to have to get a little screwdriver. In the end, I managed to uh, use the orange thing to uh, uh, help lever it out. I used the cable tie method to pull back that, uh, the plug that needs to plug into the seat up because yeah, it's quite fiddly and tricky in here and my hands aren't that small. So the old one plugs into this plug, like satisfying click. No, nope, there was no satisfying click, but that plugs into there. And then this one goes into the seat. Let's hope this isn't a bit of a pain. For a minute, I wasn't sure how which way around this was plugged in, but as soon as I'd plugged it in, it was moving. So I'm gonna try and click that in and tidy it up down there and then onto the screen. Let's go. So what we'll do first is what they say, which is plug this little BLT in. She fits. What I don't understand, and we'll soon find out, is this that's connected to the car is, there's nowhere to go. And it, the wiring harness comes with these two random plugs. I mean, I don't know if they just plug into each other. It seems like they do. But I'm not gonna do that just yet. 
But yeah, there's one connected to the harness and one connected to the screen, which seem to plug in together. So let's plug those in. There we go. And now, what is this? Should these be together? I think we'll turn on the car and see what the crack is. Ha <laughs> winner, look at that. Well, clearly these don't need to be plugged in. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a, bit of testing first before anything else. I'm just going to temporarily with the wires hanging just pop that on. There we go. Nice. So let's uh, have a little run through on these bits then. So there we go. So on, on. Yeah that was working. Um, child lock. Definitely want some of that. Um, Heated seats, let's check. I'm actually sat on that one, so. Oh, this is really cool. Is it getting hot? I'll tell you in a second. Okay, driver's seat, forwards and backwards. Wow, do you see that? Nice, this is quality. What's that? That vent, I think that's um, open. Opens the glove box. My kids are going to be having too much fun with this. I want to sit in the back. Um, music. Yeah, it's definitely getting warm. This is brilliant. This is working. Android Auto. I haven't even got Android Auto in the front. This is very, very unfair. Right, I'm going to get this all connected up. All the cables looking pretty. And my daughters are going to absolutely love this so here we go what do we do first i've got no idea <laughs> it doesn't say i have to put it back together does it because <laughs> it doesn't just a tip it was really really difficult to get the wires behind uh this middle bit so i'm hoping that i can actually get the these plugs behind i've seen it done before but i know it's tricky so uh yeah let's hope i can do that uh, but the screen's all working, even though it's in safe mode, which isn't ideal, but there we go. Um, so hopefully this will be sorted soon and I can give you a little road test. So cables aren't getting in the way, which is good. I don't know about you guys, but that looks tidy. Amazing, I fitted it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Chargeheads UK, EV conversions, modified EVs. Let me turn around the camera and show you it. It's amazing, actually. And when I say amazing, it's just amazing that someone has managed to uh, make a rear screen that I can fit within an hour and I filmed it. That is impressive. So I suppose you want to know what it's like, a review if you like. Let me take you through that now, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. If we start with the good, we've got the air controls which work um, at the back, which is really good. Although it does change the front ones as well. You know, you can child lock it, which I found out to my detriment, and you can, I think it's 8784 to turn the child lock off, you can get it online. But essentially you can control all of the air conditioning at the back which you might not want your kids to do. But you've got dog mode, camp mode, and a few other bits and bobs. Don't even know what that is. Um, I haven't played with that yet. Uh, so you've got also the heated seats. So you can do all the heated seats. Again, your kids have got control over quite a lot of functions here. So again, this is mm, not sure about that. The child lock only seems to work for the air conditioning as well, and not for the seats, which, you know, bearing in mind, if you're driving and you've got little kids and they start doing it forwards and backwards and all the rest of it. Not ideal, probably not a positive that. Um, so yeah, um, it turns the lump support into a massage, which is interesting. You've also got stereo controls in the back. This is great. So if the kids are moaning about, you know, I know, put it forward, put it back, turn it up, turn it down. They can control it here. Again, positive, negative, because they can control it here. Music, I mean, there's loads on here. It's basically a, 
uh, a tablet that you can download loads of uh, stuff you can pop it on the USB etc oh it's just started playing music I didn't want it to do that um, the video quality is really good so if I just show you the generic video um, that they play um, it's it's really really good uh, the quality is strong it says 4k there um, I'm not sure if it is 4k but it's quality is really really good and the speaker is actually pretty good as well one negative is you can't easily access the speaker control so you have to go that option um, audio settings is it no that option settings audio and then change the volume so that's a you know, it's not ideal but uh, it is good that it's got a decent speaker there so you can instead of using the speaker you can use Bluetooth headphones now after a lot of trials and tribulations because it's not just as simple as going into the Bluetooth options you have to go into BT transmitter options after talking to Handshow um, and you can only fit one pair of Bluetooth headphones now I believe the Bluetooth headphones that we've got we can connect them together with a male to male phono um, so that I'm going to try that out but the good news is you can fit at least one pair um, so if you want to fit two pairs just just bear that in mind because this is completely separate to that up there you have to have a Wi-Fi connection so I've connected via a hotspot my phone so I can go into YouTube I can watch you know whatever I want obviously I'll be in there watching uh, charge heads UK um, but yeah it, it works as it should and yeah it uh, does does what you want it to do essentially you've also got uh, TikTok, Netflix, internet Disney there's that BT transmitter I talked about that you have to use to connect your uh, headphones um, also you've got uh, Android Auto I'm not sure why you choose Android Auto at the back but if the kids if you want to connect your phone and have the map up the screen so they can see or maybe they want to they might want to connect their phone actually and make calls with the Bluetooth headphones so that might be quite a nice little feature actually um, and then there's settings which you don't really play with um, so all in all I mean ma most importantly it was really easy to fit and if you watch my channel you know that that's probably quite amazing um, so would I buy it I think it retails about 28290 bearing in mind there is a discount code if you put charge heads in so check in the description I'll put it at the bottom of the screen as well um, I think with the discount I think it is well worth it it's uh, 8.6 uh, inch screen 8.66 and the Highland model is just an 8 inch it looks good it looks factory it works you know and the screen is good and it's easy to fit so if you are looking for a screen for the back of the Tesla Model 3 yeah I mean there's a few annoyances where you know um, with regards to you know the kids being able to control quite a lot of the stuff that you might not want it to and I've not really compared it to anything else uh, any other of the screens but I've, I've been pretty happy with it and I'm gonna be keeping it in my car um so so yeah if you want to buy it buy it if you don't don't but thanks for watching i hope it's been interesting see you next time